YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and we're doing the Charlotte Hornets today the Hornets need some help they for sure need some help probably going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA coming up this season I mean they still have Kimba but other than that not really much is going right for the Charlotte Hornets uh, I mean they re they signed Tony Parker which was kind of odd they have MKG still uh who never turned out to be anything too uh great he was drafted second overall in 2012 marvin williams also second pick in 2005 never turned out to be anything great either it's just this team literally has malik monk and kimmel walker i mean there's miles bridges too they dra drafted Devontae graham and they're still hoping dwayne beck dwayne bacon can still become something and yeah so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with this team today i a part of me wants to keep Kimball Walker here just because he's our best player. But then another part of me is like, we probably need to get rid of him just because uh, we really don't have a chance to do anything else. Like there's no, I don't even know what we're going to do. So basically what we got right now though, we got Kimball Walker at the point guard, Malik Monk at the shooting guard, Batum at the three, Marvin Williams at the four, Cody Zeller at the five, Comiskey uh, off the bench. And like I said, uh, yeah, I would really like Miles Bridges getting some minutes this off season. Uh, Dwayne Bacon, Devontae Graham are going to be sitting there. Uh, Nick, I really want Malik Monk to start for sure. Now, like I said, I really don't know wanna, how I want to do this. So let's do, let's go, we're going to do a 10, well, if we do, let's do a nine minute rotation. That's what I want to do. Let's do a nine minute rotation. And they got MKG. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, actually make it a 10 minute rotation. Let's do that. 10 minute rotation, Malik Monk. Is starting at the shooting guard no matter what it's happening Malik Monk is starting at the shooting guard there's no way around that I'm going to let him start or Kim Walker Malik Monk Miles Bridges I'm actually okay with Miles Bridges starting just because we need to we need to get the rebuild going Frank Kamitsky Cody Zeller uh, Nicholas Batum Parker Marvin Williams MKG and Hernan Gomez all off the bench I'll probably actually even do actually no we'll we'll leave it like that now mkg i actually might just be let take an l because he just has not been anything great honestly so jeremy lamb's gonna get them last few minutes mkg ain't gonna get any minutes i guess so uh bismack like this this team have terrible they have cody zeller's contract that batum's contract that bismack biombo's contract now i'm not gonna have any cap space to do anything but at the trade deadline i will most likely stop see how this team does i will be probably making a trade this first season at the trade deadline kim walker might be on his way out guys so we are in the middle of january i believe it is and it is time to get rid of kimball walker we're going to be attaching nicholas batum with him we're going to be grabbing jordan clarkson and george hill so basically what i'm thinking is george hill is going to be an expiring contract after the season he has a team option and we're definitely going to decline that and clarkson eh, maybe uh he starts to play decent with the cavaliers at, now that lebron james is gone and he could start next to uh Malik Monk. So we're gonna do this. Kim Walker is finally gonna get out of here. So we get Clarkson, Batum. I'm gonna at least try to get a first round pick out of them. The Nets pick. They shouldn't even have that. Uh, but whatever. What if it will they take the okay? They do agree. So we get a pick out of them as well. 2021 unprotected. So the I guess the I guess you could say that the Cavs finally got I don't even know what I was trying to say there for a second. I guess you could say the Cavs finally got Kim Walker a year too late. So what they got for the rotation, they got George Hill, uh, Jordan Clarkson, Miles Bridges, Frank Kaminsky, Will Hernan Gomez, and then Jeremy Lamb, Tony Parker, Cody Zeller. Obviously, that is not going to be the case. Who do they got starting? Miles Bridges is fine. I'm going to go ahead and move Jordan Clarkson to the point guard. And George Hill, I really don't like the signing of Tony Parker. I really think the signing of Tony Parker makes no sense. So I'm going to have to move Clarkson to the point guard. He's probably going to end up being a backup point guard eventually. So let's do this. Let's trade... Let's trade Tony Parker away because this 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 isn't making any sense. Tony Parker is probably like this isn't really working out, man. Trade Tony Parker to somewhere he can go win a championship one last time or something. Let's see what we can get out here for Parker. Uh, to the Mavericks for JJ Barrett, Ed Davis. If the Spurs offer me something, I'm gonna have to do it. So they're gonna give me Davis Berton. Ah, actually, I don't want to do that trade. Uh, Troy Daniels, Portland Trailblazers, Jonas Drebko. For Tony Parker. Tony Parker to the Warriors. Yep. Tony Parker deserves another ring, right? So I guess we'll take Jonas Jurebko from them. And Tony Parker is out of here. So now let me adjust the rotation. Because they have the rotation all sorts of messed up for me. So 
Clarkson is going to get some minutes. And then Jeremy Lamb is going to get uh, 15 minutes, I guess, because Blake Monk is getting them starting minutes. So it's going to be Clarkson, Blake Monk, Miles Bridges, Frank Kaminsky, Willie Hernan Gomez, which is fine. I'm not too upset about that. That will work out for me. So we got Clarkson, Blake Monk, Miles Bridges, Frank Kaminsky, Hernan Gomez, Cody Ziller, uh, MKG, I didn't even have getting any minutes. Bismack, uh, George Hill's not getting any minutes right now. Jurebko is actually going to not get any minutes, and George Hill is going to get some minutes. That's what we're going to do. So that's how we'll do it. We'll do it like that. So George Hill is going to be the last player off the bench, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'll even give George Hill 20 minutes a game uh, so he can be a nice uh, backup point guard, I guess. Cody Zeller, Marvin Williams. So, yeah, this is going to be uh, the rotation now. Although, I almost started in like that. I'm going to take some minutes away from you guys off the bench here because I want my boy Malik Monk getting a lot of the minutes. So, Miles Bridges and Malik Monk, you guys need to go out there and do whatever the hell you want. So, go make... Go make uh go make us proud. Hopefully you're able to score a lot of points. So the the rebuild has officially started for the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, Kim Walker's officially gone. It is time to rebuild from here. At the end of the season, we went a whopping 22 and 60. Kind of what I expected for this first season. I'm really not even sure if we'll ever make the playoffs in this video. I'm really not expecting us to. We're not great. We just aren't. It's just a reality. The Hornets are not going to be a team that's going to make the playoffs. For a while, I don't think, especially if they do end up trading Kimball Walker. If they keep Kimball Walker, which they very well could, who knows what his future looks like, but uh, they, they could be a playoff team, but if they do trade him, they're not going to be a playoff team for a while. I decided to go the route of trading him just because I would not be able to do anything in this video if I did not get rid of Batum's contract. There are still contracts that I need to get rid of, and I probably won't be able to, won't be able to realistically, but I'm going to try my best. But... We should have the number one pick as long as the Hornets do have their pick, which I believe they do. I hope they do. So let's see. It looks like we do. So we should have the number one pick going in this NBA draft. We drop all the way to the fourth pick. That is depressing. Okay. So the fourth pick, that sucks. Okay, staff signing. James Borrego is still our head coach. I'll leave him the way he is just because he's still a new head coach. And then what we got... Capholds, we got Capholds out here. We got Jeremy Lamb, Marvin Williams. I really wish I could renounce Marvin Williams. MKG as well. George Hill, I'm going to probably decline this team option. And then uh, Bismack, oh my gosh, there's just so many terrible contracts on this team. It's not even funny. But what do we got? We got the fourth pick and a second round pick, uh, which is 25th. So Clarkson, Cody Zeller. Oh man, this this is horrible. Like this is this is very terrible. But we have the fourth pick, so I'm going to jump into the NBA draft. Let's see what we can get at number four. I'm not sure what's going to drop to us at number four. What we really could use is we could use a point guard. We really do need a point guard um, next to Malik Monk, so I, I'm all for a point guard here if possible. So what do we got? Nazaron Reed. We got Romero Lankford, Bull Bull, Zion Williamson. We already have Miles Bridges, so I'm not going to go Zion Williamson. Although there is the role there is the argument that you should go best available now This isn't looking too good for me. Honestly, Bruno Fernando I'm not really liking any of these uh, prospects that are left as far as my team needs I am going with the team need for this video rather than best available. So uh, The fourth pick and could I possibly get rid of Cody Zeller's contract Is that a possibility if I traded the fourth pick away right now? I don't know who would take him Shea Gilgos Alexander, I would almost take him, but I don't know if that's realistic. Rudy Gobert, the sixth pick, it would get Wally Cauley Stein. So really, the the Kings would be moving up. And they'd be getting, getting rid of Wally Cauley Stein, who I would almost rather have Wally Cauley Stein at this point rather than Cody Zeller. Uh, I mean, I could go back to that trade. Cameron Reddish, Ryan Ellis Jefferson, Will Barton, Blake Griffin. Wow, fourth pick, we get Blake Griffin. That would speed up the rebuild process, but I'm not going to do that. That would be kind of stupid and really dumb. Uh, let's do... I kind of like this I kind of like this trade. So we move down to... Well, I don't know if this makes a lot of sense, though, for the Kings. I guess they move up in the draft. They like someone here, maybe. The fourth pick, the sixth pick. I, I don't know. I'm going to do this trade. So we move down two spots, and the Kings move up two spots, and they get Cody Zeller while we take Willie Cauley-Stein. Cody Zeller's contract expires before Willie Cauley Steins does, maybe. Like, they, they traded up to get Zion Williamson. That is something, you know, the Kings could possibly do. So, I, I like that trade. 
for the Kings. And I did not want Zion Williamson just because we have Miles Bridges already. So, uh, we have a center and uh, we'll call it Stein now, I guess. So, Bruno Fernando, Romero Lankford, Kellen Grady, Romero Lankford might actually be my shooting guard off the bench, possibly. Maybe I could start him at the point guard, Malik Monk at the point guard. I don't know. Nazaron Reed could be the backup center. I'm going to go Romero Lankford here, I guess. So, we'll, we'll go Romero Lankford and I'll see you guys in free agency. So sadly, as it stands, Marvin Williams, MKG, Hernan Gomez, or we're going to accept Hernan Gomez, Bismack Biombo, Michael Cole, Kid Gilchrist, and Marvin Williams all put us in cap space hell. We can decline George Hill, thank God, because he has a team option, like I said. Dwayne Bacon, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back, just because you are a nice young player. Although you probably won't do anything in this video, but I'll bring you back. Qualifying offers, none. And we are probably not going to have any cap space whatsoever. There's no one that I really want to resign either. Jeremy Lamb can go. You can go. You guys can all go. We probably won't have any cap space just because we have 4.55. That does not help us whatsoever. All these contracts expire after this season, though. So the Hornets are in good position when it comes to that. Now, all around shooting guard, ball handling, lateral quickness. So Romero Lankford could possibly play the point guard. Will he go down if I move him to point guard? He actually goes down one all-around point guard. What about Malik Monk? He stays the same. Shooting guard, small all-around shooting guard, all-around point guard. Uh, he stays the same. Malik Monk, I guess, could maybe start at the point guard. And then Clarkson come off the bench. And then we got Merrill Langford starting at the shooting guard. And then, of course, we'll have Miles Bridges starting at the small forward. Frank Kaminsky, and we'll, we basically have our starting five, guys. There's not, all, we can't do anything. We really can't. There's just nothing we can do. I'm not resigning any of you trash guys. Clarkson, possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how you do this season off the bench for us. But I really can't do nothing. Like I really can't. So let me see if I got the positions filled out though. MKG, I guess, can come off the bench for Miles Bridges. Frank Kaminsky, Marvin Williams are fine, and then Willie Collins, Stein, Hernan Gomez. Okay, so we really don't need anyone. Besides maybe a backup shooting guard, I guess. Maybe. Not really. What about Devontae Graham? Does he go up? No, he doesn't. He basically stays the same. So, I might just leave that 4.55 mil to just... Yeah, I might just leave it. So, let's just leave it alone. We're not going to have any cap space. And a lot of these contracts are just horrible. So, I'm just going to go ahead. See how this season goes. And then we'll have all the cap space in the world next season. Where the free agency is not as good, but at least we'll have some money to do something. And then I'll show you guys the rotation real quick. And then we'll see how this Hornets team does in the second season. Although I'm not expecting much and neither should you. As headed into this season, we got Malik Monk, Romero Langford, Miles Bridges, Frank Kaminsky, Willa Cauley-Stein, Hernan Gomez, Jordan Clarkson. We got MKG and Devontae Graham. They originally had J.R. Smith. Coming out, but I I, I don't like that. J.R. Smith really brings it, it's just not a good fit here. You really even shouldn't be on this team. You really should be good signing with the championship team or something. So I, I do like this though. I think that this team uh I like I I hope these three guys right here just lead the way. I really hope one of them averages 20 points. Hopefully, I don't know if they will. Miles Bridges don't want you to step up big time, but hopefully this trio right there can uh, lead to some great things one day. And hopefully this Hornets team will be some beasts. I don't know. So at the end of that season, we went a whopping 14 and 68. I've never had that terrible of a record, but I'm really not worried about it. Like this, this is just how the Charlotte Hornets are. Realistically, this is where the Charlotte, Hor Charlotte, eh, Charlotte Hornets will be for the future. Hopefully we land a number one pick this time. We did. Okay. So we didn't get the fourth pick. We didn't drop all the way to number four. So we have the number one pick. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but James Borrego... Uh, I might just have to give this dude an L. Like, I'm going to have to fire him. Make sure our coach is actually really good this season. Quinn Snyder would almost be, like, best, uh, the best option. Like, that would be awesome if we get Quinn Snyder over here. How about uh, Alvin Gentry? Wouldn't be too bad either. Great coach as well. Definitely locked up my Portland trip. Quinn Snyder. Yes, for sure. NBA draft. I love that. I love that coach signing. Definitely love what I just signed. Okay, so... The number one pick, a lot of responsibility here, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with the number one pick quite yet, but I like what we got. We got uh, Frank Kaminsky and Willie Collins Stein as our front court for now. And then, of course, we have Malik Monk and Miles Bridges and Ramiro Langford. Now, what could I use with this number one pick? 
Now, what do they have? What do they have? Pro mock drafts. Cole Anthony, he's a point guard. Uh, Vinny, I really just don't know who any of these guys are, so that's why I don't like drafting in, with the 2020 draft. So, if I can trade this number one pick, advance the rebuild a little bit more. Maybe I trade Willie Colley Stein in this trade. I don't know. We'll do that. Willie Colley Stein, because I could definitely use a better center than Willie Colley Stein. The number one pick and Willie Colley Stein. What would that get me? Right before the draft, Rubio and Rudy Gobert, not really feeling that. Terry Rozier, D'Angelo Russell, Bull Bull, Miles Turner, and Darren Collison, Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond. Wow, that would really advance a lot, but no, that that's just not going to work out for me. So, they want to give me Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond, okay. Uh, Lamarck Soldier, DeJounte Murray, Devin Booker, wow, oh my god, that would be insane. The number one pick for Devin Booker. It would definitely bring us a star. CJ McCollum and Yusuf Nurkic, Bradley Beal. Now, there is one trade I do have in mind, and I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work out, but I'll be right back. Guys, I like the idea of this. I tried for Carl Anthony Towns, but the number one pick in Willie Colley Stein for Andre Drummond. Now, Andre Drummond is 26 years old, so he's pre still pretty young. So, Andre Drummond would just advance the rebuild a little bit more. He'd give us that rebounder. He'd give us that defensive guy. He would score a little bit as well. So, they agree. So, just like that, the number one pick in Willie Colley Stein for Andre Drummond. And Andre Drummond is locked up for the next three years. So, uh, definitely interesting. I don't know how uh, interesting. That, that trade was definitely interesting, for sure. So, and we still have... Uh, we're still gonna we're still gonna have cow space this summer, which is even the greater part. So I can't wait for that as well. So jumping over the NBA draft now, just because I didn't like I just didn't want to draft anyone in that 2020 draft. I wish I knew more about that draft, but I just don't. Miles Bridges, Malik Monk, and Devontae Graham are all be coming back, of course. And then this free agency class isn't the best, but I'm sure we can find something possibly. So we got Andre Drummond now, which is great. So cap holds, of course. Uh, MKG can take an L, Bismack can take an L, Marvin Williams, and you, and you, and you, and Hernan Gomez, you're possibly going to take an L here in a second too. But we have Malik Monk and Devontae Graham, who's not even under contract, but uh, apparently we have him still, so that's, uh, that's kind of weird, whatever, I guess. All right, <laughs> Clarkson and Romero Langford still at the point guard, and then we got Miles Bridges up to three, and then Frank Kaminsky at the power forward, so... I mean, a better four would be ideal. I don't know who we could grab. If I really wanted to grab Draymond Green, I would, but that's, I don't know, that's a little out there. That's kind of kind of interesting. Jalen Brown, possibly. Can we get Jalen Brown out here to come play for the Charlotte Hornets? I don't know. The Celtics would probably match any offer thrown his way. So let's go team option. I don't even think he'll accept that, actually. I'm not giving a team option. Uh, Brandon Ingram. Jabari Parker is another interesting one. Jamal Murray is another interesting one as well. I mean, I'll throw him a contract. I don't know if he'd come here. Dwight Howard, Mitchell Robinson, Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown. I, I like the idea of getting Jabari maybe at the four. We could try. So let's see. Let's, we threw out some contracts. Let's see what we got. So we got Jalen Brown or Jamal Murray. Now, ideally, I want Jalen Brown because Jamal, well, I wouldn't mind Jamal Murray either. Jalen Brown, praying the Celtics don't match. The Bar Parker's decided. Dang it, and the Nuggets match as well. So I would have struck out on both those guys. That sucks. Draymond Green is still available. Would he ever come to Charlotte? I mean, if maybe the Hornets threw him a max contract, maybe he'd come to the Hornets. Draymond and Andre Drummond starting together, though, is not ideal. But, I mean, JaVale McGee and Draymond used to start together. So why does it matter? I don't know. I'm going to throw him a contract just because Brandon Ingram, we really don't have any other options out here. And I want to make this team at least make the playoffs once. I would like Ingram, but of course that prob probably can't happen. And the Lakers decide to match. So we, like I said, we really can't do anything. And we just struck out on everybody just like that. So we're basically going to be a team that probably doesn't make the playoffs once again. So that's how the video has gone, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign whoever, and I'll see you guys at the rotation because I just struck out on everybody. We probably won't make the playoffs for this last season. So this is going to be end up being the rotation. We got Malik Monk, Romero Lankford, Miles Bridges, Larry Nance Jr. Actually, is not going to be starting because 
Frank Kaminsky stretches the floor a little bit more. So Andre Drummond, uh, we got Tareen Prince, just like that. Yeah, that's that's how the rotation is going to be. So we're going to run a nine-man rotation and then send Larry Nance uh, back out there to come off the bench because Frank Kaminsky makes more sense starting next to Drummond. So hopefully maybe we sneak into the Eastern Conference. I don't know. This team is headed in the right direction, but I don't know if they're playoff caliber yet. It's getting there. It's getting there. But uh, it's only one more season. Maybe 2K throws me a bone and I make the playoffs. All right, guys. Andre Drummond is on the All-NBA first team, but that's all we really have to look forward to. We almost made the playoffs very close, 40 and 42. So I'm going to take that as a W for this video because we weren't even supposed to be close throughout the video. Andre Drummond led the way offensively, 17 points. I'd like Malik Monk to average around 20 now and then miles bridges probably maybe 19 18 romero langford get there up there as well but obviously no one really took over thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy and hit that subscribe button as well come on guys sub, sub. you guys better sub this crushables and i'm saying peace